hope you're well. This video is requested by Country Gal One. In this video, I'm going to be taking what we talked about in the last video with the horse layouts using HTML and CSS. I'm going to take it that a little bit further. So Country Gal said this was a particular team layout that she was really fond of. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about it. So this is actually made up of images and text and some things you wouldn't be able to do in HTML and CSS on its own. So what I'm going to quickly show you is if I click on this, this is actually an image. And as well as that, also this line in between is actually an image as well, as you can kind of just see it up there. So somebody has gone into um, an editor, an image editor, and created that. So what you could do, if you don't have certain things available to you, you can actually go and create images in like Photoshop or other different images ed editors out there. And do save it as a PNG, a PNG file as possible because you want a portable networks graphic because it's transparent, especially whenever you want to use transparent images like this. So it looks like it's actually text on the layout because you can see that it's showing the color of the horse background here. That's because this is see-through. This on the other hand is just text. Now you can also see that there's some fancy text as well. So I'm just going to briefly talk about that. So you can go onto sites like Mess Letters, for example, and create fancy text and different fonts and so forth, like you'll not really get it so much in um, on horse itself. Now sometimes they don't always transfer over, so I'll just show you what I mean by this. If I go into my presentation, um, now it might come out fine, but it may not, we'll see in a moment. So you could paste it onto the page like this, okay, and that's coming out fine. Or we can paste it in HTML mode, so let's paste that in there, and then we'll switch it back to normal. Both of those came out okay. Now, I have started creating a more fancy looking layout in there, so I'm just going to try something really out of curiosity, just really quickly um, in here. So let's just let's just paste that text that we got a minute ago, and let's see the result. So that actually does show up, so we could have used that, okay? Um, so if, you, if there's really nice text, for example, on something like mess letters that you'd really like to use, we could do that. So let's, let's use this for um, the purpose of doing this just to make it look a bit nicer um so we'll copy which one was it, it was this one wasn't it so let's take that and we'll go back to this and paste that in there so i'll put that in there and then what i'm just going to do is i'm going to make a second header and put this in there because I want that text to be a bit smaller. So we're going to have Artemis and then we're going to have Breeding Group underneath it. So let's see if that comes through all right. Okay, well that's gone over to the side. I'll, I'll explain why. So up here at the minute, inside the header tags, we've got the style tags. So there's a huge amount in here. So we, there's the head, the ending of the head tiles, but you've got also got these style tags. So this is where all the CSS is right now, which is controlling a huge amount of this. Now you can see that I've got a header one here. Now this is referring to any header ones that are in here. That's CSS referencing that. Now right now, the reason this isn't centered is because it's a header two, and I don't have any header two um, CSS in there. But if we put in header two, and we click see result, it moves. Now what I'll just try and see if we can do, let's try and make it blue. It's blue now. So these are some of the things that you can kind of mess about with, with the CSS a little bit more than you, you can hard code it in, but as I said, if you want to have all the headers and you had like 30 different headings, it would be an absolute nightmare to go in and put every single one in manually in here. It's much easier to just put it up in the style tags within here. So we'll move on to the next bit of this. Now, you're probably wondering how I've got a background image in there rather than text. So or sorry, rather than a color. So I'm going to show you what I mean and how I did that. So I'm just going to, let's see, I'm going to take this out for a moment. Click see results. So yesterday, whenever we were doing this, we were working with the colors at the background. So if we go down here, this is the body. Okay. So you can see that we've got the opening body and the closing body. Okay. And the body obviously covers the whole thing. Now, when we go up here, we've got an, a, some CSS for the body and background color green. Now we could change that to red if we liked, okay? And it makes it red. But you will have seen that I had something down here and it was a little bit different, 
and this is dot back body and I created this this is a class this references a class and you can see that I created within the opening body tag um, a class called back body and within this I put an image okay so what I'm going to just I'm going to take it out there and I'm going to type it in all again so you can um, see what I did okay so whenever you want to put an image in there what you need to do obviously is first create um, whatever it is that you want to put the image in whether that's a div or the body for example and then you want to have a class so we've got the class now so what we're going to do is background image and then we want to write URL and open some curly brackets and then what we do is some singled quotation marks and the next thing we want to do is I'm going to go and get an image of uh, Pixabay and Pixabay has lots of Creative Commons images so you can use them um, so what I'm going to do is now post the image address in there. Now, if you saw the video that I did about images and creating images, you know, for horse pages and so forth, you'll know how um, to work with these in a bit more detail. So if I just, oh, we forgot our um, semicolon. No, I'm missing, oh, I spelled background image wrong. There we go. <laughs> there we are. Okay, so that puts the image into the background. Now you will notice that it's tiling it. And what I mean by this is let's, I'm trying to think how I could show you this a bit better. If I just drag this over, what happens is when you use an image, your image is only so big. So if your website, for example, or your presentation is like a lot larger, it automatically tiles it. So if we take that image from earlier, for example, I'm just going to put this in to kind of show you what I mean. If I put that in there and I click see result, you can see that that's put that in that and it's tiled it. And the reason you can see the red is because we have the background of red in here. We can change it to, let's see, purple. Okay. And it makes it purple. And you can see the purple because the image itself is transparent. So if you wanted to do something like that, you could, if you wanted to tile an image, no, we're not going to tile an image for this. We're just going to try and uh, use oh i don't want to delete the page don't close the page on me thank you right that would have been a disaster right so we'll just put that image back in there so that we get that nice colorful rainbow color back again so one of the things i will say is if you're going to use images either be sure that you want to tile it use an image that it doesn't matter if you tile it or Either just make sure that you set everything, that everything can only be so big. I mean, one of the things you do have to be aware of with um, the horse presentation, if you click on this, you can change the height of your presentation. You also change the width of your presentation. So you don't necessarily need to have a ginormous image. You can just make an image that's the right size for what you need or just find one that's the right size for what you need. Now, the next thing I want to show you is the div in here that says div with an image background okay so there's text in there so what i did was the same thing again as i did with the the body but i did it for um a div okay so this div is called has a class of bg image so background image and it's referencing this image that i've put in from the youtube channel and i've given it a fixed height and a fixed width but watch what happens if i increase the height and the width you see that it tiles and it becomes absolutely ginormous okay so let's reduce that down let's make it really really small and you can see that it becomes absolutely tiny so we'll make it back to the original size that i had it but when we fix the size you can see that it's not tiling and it's it's the size that we wanted it to be and you could you know toy around with it a little bit if you wanted so the other thing is the way i've made it go into the middle is by using this margin auto here okay so i'm actually just going to make this a little bit easier to read because i think it probably looks a little bit um, funny now you can see that i've got a border around it. if i wanted to take the border away all i have to do is remove that border and now you can see that it doesn't have a border but if i wanted it to have a border again i could put border in and i could let's say we wanted a really thick border so 20 pixels and let's see solid and black okay you can see it we've got a solid 20 pixel um, 
black line around as a border, but we don't want that in this particular case, and so I'm going to take it away. So then underneath here, I've made two sub divs within another div. Okay, so the we've got the main div, and I'm just I'm just going to write something in the main div so you can see it. This is my main div for this demo. Click save result. You can see that it's put it in there. Now it hasn't shifted it over on us, but don't worry about that too much because I don't want to use that to actually put text in, but I could if I wanted. So we've got these two sub divs and I've given them um, a class of my div. So both of those two divs have a class of my div. So whatever I do to this bit here will affect both of them. So let's, for example, take away that background color of pink. And that makes them transparent. Now, right now, they've got a border of one pixel solid red. So let's make that solid black for now. Nope. And click see result. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change one of these images. So let's take, open this image in a new tab and get the address. So I'm going to change this image that we have at the moment here to something else. So let's just change that. Okay. Now you can see that, that image is really, really big and therefore it's cut it off. So you can go and resize that image itself and then put it in. And I would say that's probably the easiest way to do it. Um, so if you wanted to put a specific image in and you know exactly what size you want, just I would say figure out what size you need and then go and resize the image itself. So I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. I'm not going to start worrying too much about uh, the rest of it. Um, but I'm going to put some text into there. So let's see. Um, I'm just going to put, I'm, I'm going to be terrible and, and put the uh, color in here instead of in the CSS like I should do. No, no wait. Have I done that wrong? Let me. I'm trying to remember. Um, that is what div is that? That is I'm trying to remember the name of that div. Oh, this is this one. This is this one. Okay. Um, no, it's not. It's this this is the one we're working with, right? Let's change that. Right. Now let's see. No, nope, it's not changing it for me. There it is. Okay, that, that's what it was. It was that little bit of extra text I had there that I didn't want. Right, so now I want to, for example, I want to center the text. Well, we can do that. The way you center text is you need text align. So text align. And I want to center it on this particular occasion. So let's see results. And we've centered that. So now if we go back down here we could put in some more information so let's say we are currently recruiting players must have over 300 days seniority okay so let's see result so that comes up now you can get lots of different tags for moving that text um, in the center, the bottom, you know, the corners and so forth. So I'm not going to worry so much about talking about that so much. But I'm going to finish off with these last two divs down here and then we'll leave it at that. So um, what we'll do now is, right, let's put in stallions. Save. And we'll put in skillers same result okay now let's say we want to center those now those two divs are under the class my div so we need to look for my div if we want to change this so there's my div and text align oh text ah keep using caps right text align center There we go. Okay, so that sounded the text for us. So we could go ahead and put an image in there if we like. So let, let's just do that in one of the, the pictures, for example. Let's use this picture. So 
um, we'll put in a new tab, get the address, and we'll put in image. Now we could give this image a class if we wanted as well, if we wanted to manip manipulate it. I'm not going to worry too much about manipulating this image right now. Oh, wait a minute. We've done, we've done that wrong. We've done that wrong. Now, this, this is what I was talking about yesterday. An image shouldn't, doesn't go in like text does. You need the source. So now we need, I think it's single quotation marks. I'll remember, I'll know in a minute if it's wrong. So there we go. There's that image and it's absolutely huge. So I want to see now if I can actually change the size of that image without having to resize the actual image and then re-import it. Okay, so I went back and checked because I knew there was a way to do this and I wasn't I haven't done this in ages. So I put in an image a minute ago, which was this image here, okay, which was the picture of the horses. Now I've given it a class and I called it my image. So up here I then created the my image in the CSS. And then I give it a max width, so let's increase this a bit. So I've made it kind of small, so let's increase it a bit. So there's there's it at thirty percent. Let's make it fifty percent. So you can go in there and actually use the CSS to resize the images. One reason I think I wouldn't advise it totally is that because sometimes you'll be bringing in massive images and it'll increase the load time for pages. It's not really a big deal if you don't have a lot of images, but um, it might take longer for to load for some people who maybe aren't on good internet. So I would say that's something to think about, but we'll not worry too much about it. I'm going to try something else now because I'm kind of curious if this will work for me or not. Probably won't work for me. No, I didn't think it would. Let's say position. Where do I want to position it? Uh, well, I suppose we could, hold on, use margin again. Uh, also, let's see result. Nah, it's not doing what I wanted to do. Let's see. I'll put in a break. I don't know if this break is going to do anything that I want it to do. There we go. Okay, so that's put it underneath it for me at least. Um, within that div, by putting a break in, that's moved it underneath. So this is just kind of. A basic how to get started with this and how you can take it that little bit further um, than the really basic one I showed you yesterday to add more images in, use fancy text and so forth. Um, so thank you to Country Girl for requesting the video. I hope you said a lovely day. Bye!